Hi and welcome to Frauscher Talks. My name is Michaela. Today I want to explore the concept of safety. Safety means limiting all risks to an acceptable level. The limitation of risk to an acceptable level is only given for a certain period of time in a specific environment and under specific conditions. The first step of the risk assessment is the hazard identification. A hazard is a potential accident waiting to happen. A cause in subsystem A and a cause in subsystem B represent underlying factors or failures within separate subsystems of a larger system. The causes in subsystem A and subsystem B lead to the creation of hazards. The combination of the hazards and the external event results in an accident. A hazard is a potential source of harm or danger that can cause damage to people, property or the environment. Failure is the inability of a system, component or process to perform its intended function within specified limits. Failures can cause hazards if they result in unsafe conditions or situations. According to EN 50126-1, a risk is a combination of an expected probability of a loss and the expected degree of severity of that loss. In risk assessment, severity and frequency are often used to evaluate the potential impact and likelihood of a risk event happening. A risk classification scheme is a systematic method used to categorize and organize risks. This is based on various attributes such as severity, likelihood and impact. Let's look at the bus and the hazard for the function brake. If brakes fail on a bus, the potential for catastrophic consequences, including injury or death to people, is significant. Given the size of the potential consequences and the fact that the chance of brake failure is still present, the risk becomes unacceptable. In transportation safety, any risk that has the potential for catastrophic events needs urgent attention. Another option in the risk assessment process is to define the tolerable hazard rate. The tolerable hazard rate represents the maximum acceptable level of risk that the system can tolerate. The tolerable hazard rate is a requirement for the system under development. The implementation of this requirement must be demonstrated and is then the hazard rate of the system. The safety integrity level SIL is an indicator of the degree of risk mitigation provided by a safety function. In other words, the SIL can be seen as an indicator of the acceptable failure rate of a safety function. The Zenelec standard uses the concept of safety integrity level based on the tolerable hazard rate. SIL is defined from SIL1 to SIL4, with SIL4 being the most strict Anything below SIL1 represents only basic integrity. The Swiss cheese model is a framework used to understand how accidents and errors happen in complex systems. It shows that accidents happen when multiple layers of defenses represented by slices of Swiss cheese are imperfect. This means they can align in a way that allows a hazard to pass through all the layers leading to an adverse event. Each layer represents a barrier or a defense mechanism intended to prevent the accident from happening. However, holes or weaknesses in these layers can align, allowing errors or hazard to spread through the system. Depending on SIL, various amounts of cheese slices are required. Thanks to all of you for tuning in once again and I look forward to seeing you again in the next episode of Rauscher Talks. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.